Hey guys, we're about to have some lunch. It's like a quarter till 12. I've not eaten yet today and I've been up since a little bit before seven. So I just made some chicken flavored ramen noodles. <clears throat> I have two chicken egg rolls, the Pagoda brand. I feel like you're crooked. You are crooked. I always drain out a lot of the liquid, but I think I might have drained out too much. Hold on, you're a little, you're a little crooked. Is that better? I know the angle's weird because I have you kind of at an angle on my desk, but that's okay. These are the only egg rolls that I do not take the insides out of. You know, if you watch my eating shows or eating videos, you see them when I get Chinese food, I just take the insides out and fill it with rice. Not gonna take these. These are the best egg rolls in the world. Mm -hmm. Hot. To the steam one of them. <clears throat> they take 20 minutes in the oven. So I preheated the oven while I was feeding Alex her cereal. And I stuck them in and then went in and fed her her bottle and then she went to sleep. So she's taking her nap. <clears throat> I'm enjoying my lunch. Yeah, I drained out too much water. They're still good. They're just kind of dry and sticky since there's no liquid in here. My nose run breathing in the steam. These are hot too, steaming. And my tomato has like the tiniest pinch of salt on it. It's quiet out today. It's cold. Everybody's inside. <laughs> My stomach's growling. Like always. I should let these in longer so they're crispier. Chicken, cabbage, carrots. <clears throat> Maybe onion? Celery? I don't know. I don't know, but I love them. It's in the four in a box. And I forgot I had him until I just uh, cleaned out my <clears throat> freezer, which I still need to clean out my deep freeze and I need to upload cleaning out my fridge and organizing it with Dollar Tree things and my kitchen freezer. I love them. They're so organized now.
And I did them last week. I have a piece of paper towel separating them because I didn't want my didn't want my egg rolls to get soggy. It's so cute. Adri's class, they have um, chick eggs in their classroom. An incubator. <clears throat> and she's so excited for them to hatch. She's counting down the days until their birthday. Like, how do they know when they're going to be born? Or is that what an incubator does? Is has them go at the proper speed for when you want to. I don't know. I have no idea how they work. But. And then tomorrow at school they're going to have bunnies in there. She said. So I'll get the pet bunnies. So last night before bed she said. Mom, tomorrow after school can we go to the pet store and get me a pet? No, Andrew. I said pets take money and a lot of work and time. As in with you and a one-year-old, no. We had a pet rabbit when we were little. Well, we were a little older. We weren't like little, little. I don't know if my sister won it at the fair. I don't even know where it came from. I don't know if we bought a cage or somebody built it. Maybe we want to clean it out. Another? No, I'm not dealing with a bunny rabbit. I know some people have them as pets in their house, but no. I have like the world's worst allergies. That's why we don't have a cat or a dog. The hair. Oh my God. Maybe one day, but I had to go and say it was quiet, didn't I? But Adri is counting on the days till their birthday. She says her birthday is March twentieth, which is next week. She's counting on the days, but her teacher sent home a paper saying that they should be born around May fourth. I don't know. That's what I said. Honey, I said, according to your paper, they're not going to be born for like two months. So you might want to ask your teacher. They have a bathroom in their classroom. And she said they went in there. Like everybody got to go in there and the teacher would shine a flashlight under the egg. And you could see the chick inside. She's so excited about this. <laughs> I mean, I was looking at the thing. I'm like, May. I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, that, the end of May is like the end of the school. I'm like, in two months, kindergarten will be over already? Like, in two months, I'm going to have a freaking first grader. How? How? I feel like it was just the first day of kindergarten. Sorry, I have to turn my heater on. I'm freezing. But no, I feel like it was just the first day of kindergarten. I mean, Adrian just watched that video of her first day of kindergarten, but she watched it yesterday. See the keratins? Monica, are you proud if you're watching this? I don't know if you eat my, watch my eating videos. I know you watch my grocery hauls, but I don't rip the insides out of these. But yeah. It's the middle of March. So she has till the middle of April and then the end of May. And then she has school for June, July, most of August, and then she goes back to the end of August. 
as upper first grader. so crazy. <clears throat> I just thought about today when I saw her on the way to school about the chicks and bunnies and stuff. Oh, that heat feels so good on my legs. I'm in my jammy pants my mom got me for Christmas. She gets us all jammy pants over here. And these mint green polar bear. Oh, you can't see them. Mint green polar bear slippers from Five Below. My Dollar Tree slippers finally wore holes in them. <coughs> Sorry, and every time I look at Dollar Tree, I cannot find slippers anymore. <clears throat> Sorry. I filmed last night. <laughs> I filmed last night eating Taco Bell. I have my new microphone on. I clipped my shirt. But then I was wrinkling up the taco wrappers and throwing them in the trash bag and... <clears throat> I was like, wow, that's so loud. But I'd started the video normal. Then Adri came in and wanted milk, so I told her to go ask her dad. Then I decided I'd use my ear my microphone and while I was trying to plug it in. I ended up unrecording or stopping recording. Unrecording. So I plugged it in. Got it situated. And when I watched it back, you could tell a huge difference. Oh my gosh. When I would talk, it had like a professional sound to it. Like it sounded better. And like biting into my tacos, you didn't notice much of a difference, but chewing them? <clears throat> so much better chewing sounds. With that microphone. I just need to remember not to make loud noise up by my throat or chest with wrappers and stuff. Or scraping my teeth on a metal fork. People have asked me, why do you use so much plasticware? And then I use metal and people are like, oh my gosh, I can't stand that sound of the metal. What do you want me to do, people? So then they were talking about what came first, the chick or the egg. And Adrian said, I think the egg came first, and then it hatched, and then there was a chicken. I said, well, where did that egg come from that it hatched out of? I said, I think that when God put all these animals on the earth, he put chickens on the earth. And then those chickens made eggs and laid eggs, and that led to more chickens and more eggs. And she had to like write on a paper like what her family thought. <laughs> Cause we put the teacher said it's just for for fun. Don't worry about. Like don't take it too serious. And she put on there. My mom thinks the chicken came first. Period. I think the chicken came first. I said, "Oh, you changed your opinion now." She said, well, I don't really know. <laughs> she's so funny. I can't believe she's six. <gasps> My kids are growing so fast. I can't even... 
do you ever just sit and think about like where does time go like I swear I just blinked and now I'm like almost 40 with two kids like where did my life go not like in a bad way but it's like oh my gosh where did my 20s and 30s go my 20s I worked them all the way working six and seven days a week at a factory Oh, sorry. I'm like deep in thought about this. So where well, I was never really like a partier. Like when we were underage, we would go to like the club and see if we could get drinks or whatever. And I started smoking at a young age just because of my sister, my stepsister. So I started smoking at like 15 and I smoked till I was 30, 25. Wait. Oh, until I was 30. I quit smoking in. I quit smoking in 2009. Yeah, I was born in 78. So, yeah, I quit smoking when I was 30. So, I smoked for 15 years. Anyways, <clears throat> like I said, we'd go to the club and stuff. But it, once I was legal, it's like it wasn't fun to go out and drink, really. Because it's like, oh, you're not doing anything. You're doing it legally. So, now it's not like... I mean, I'm not saying I do illegal stuff for fun. I'm just saying... I was like, ooh, when you're younger, it's, ooh, we can drink. We're going to sneak and drink. We're underage. I was like, once you're 21, it's like, okay, there's no fun in it now. Like, you can drink whenever you want. So it's not like some big, exciting thing to do. I need to dye my eyebrows. They're so light. Like, I think if they were darker, like if I dyed them, it would kind of break my face up a little bit. So my face didn't look so long. I don't know, like my headband. I was down there cleaning. <laughs> yeah, I just worked. <clears throat> when I did date people, we didn't really go out. We would stay at home. Like, watch movies, go out to dinner. We didn't really. It's like, where did my 20s and 30s go? I'll be 40 this year. <gasps> you guys, I'm going to be out of the 30s. I'm going to be at a whole new box of 40 to whatever. Oh, my gosh. I will officially be out of my 30s. That's crazy. I still feel like I'm like some... I mean, some days I feel like I'm 60 just because of when I'm tired and wore out. But for the most part, I feel like I'm still, like, 18. Oh, that leads me to another thing, but I'll just make another video of that. Alright, guys. Thanks for having lunch with me. My mind is, like, deep in thought of this whole kids and how old they are and how old I am. But thanks for having lunch with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching me eat egg rolls and not pull the insides out and fill them with rice. Subscribe if you're not subscribed so you don't miss out on anything. Click that little bell if you want to be notified every time I get it or every time I upload a video and then it'll pop up in your nose feed. Nose feed. News feed and you'll get notified. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like egg rolls and noodles. Like, how could you not? Oh, all right, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.